Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another Legends video and the reveal and stuff has just concluded which uh, ended off with the most unexpected LF reveal of all time which you haven't seen. It's literally my previous video. I won't be showing his animations here but I will be going over his kit. It's, uh, it's tiering, right? Uh, which is insane but uh we'll talk about it when we get there uh we have a few stuff to go about now i don't include everything in this video of what they um talked about here but i included like uh this which is probably like the most important thing and then a few other stuff that they announced but um real quick i do want to talk about them because one of the things that they introduced was a replay feature so uh a, again a replay feature by the way because I, I said that kind of quickly but um, yeah, for all those people who are like, man, I wish I had recorded this match, man, if only people could have seen this match, well, now you can, right, which is actually pretty clutch because especially for someone like me who doesn't record all my matches, right, I hate um, recording PvP matches, the most I'll do is like stream, right, because, you know, every time I start recording, it's just insane, so now, if I do something crazy like a 1v3 comeback and I'm like, damn, I wish I recorded it, I could just literally get it back from the replay feature and then just instantly put it on, um, youtube right so uh that was one of the things another thing they mentioned was uh, like a uh, ultra space time revamp not really a revamp but like they just uh tweak the missions a little bit to where um even if you die having to complete the trials or like you know the little missions you'll still be able to complete it and then hop back in to actually beat the boss right so that's pretty good that means you won't have to go back in with the required um tag or required element you could just go in with whatever you need right so that's uh also pretty good and then I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me skim through here. Uh, faster loading times. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then there's also co-op uh, rematch. Now, they only said it's only if you invite a friend, right? They didn't say it worked um, with searching. Search, you could, it, it's just the normal thing. You search and then you hop back out and you search again. But if you invite friends, then you can rematch however many times you want. So that was a long time coming. They even mentioned that. So it's finally here. Now, let's talk about this new mode. It's going to be called Full Power Battle, which, I mean, as I thought, is going to be a four-man co-op, which, I mean, everyone thought by the picture, right? So you team up with four people, and then you take down a giant boss, right? There was literally, I'm pretty sure, Nap on it. Did they have Harutagarn too? I'm pretty sure they had um, Harutagarn as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, basically, the overview says take on a boss with four battle members in this new mode. Pick characters whose tags fulfill the deployed conditions. So, yeah, there's going to be tags like Sun Family, right? Or like Super Warriors or whatever. So, each of you are going to have to bring that tag. And then, uh, yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, support members. You can assign up to 10 support members per battle, right? So, that's the bench. Um, you can also borrow characters from friends and guild members. So, be sure to join a guild and make ton of friends. You can set a total of 11 support members, including comrades from friends or guild members. So if I'm reading this correctly, basically you don't need an uh, active friend. You could just borrow whatever character they have and then take that as an AI in order for you to take on the battle, right? Because not all your friends are going to be on to play this co-op mode, right? Especially you need four of them. So that, that's probably what it means, right? Um, but yeah. The phases when the boss loses a certain amount of health a special scene will play out this will include uh phases where you wait for your chance to strike or where you must focus on dodging and avoiding the boss's characters or where you can go all out with one powerful attack to take down the boss so look forward to how each um what fight plays out so seems pretty interesting um not gonna write it off obviously too soon right but uh we'll have to see hopefully it's not a Flop, right i don't want to say like the tournament of power because the tournament of power is pretty cool um when it comes to the rewards but uh yeah pretty much that's it for this one let's move on to the next thing all right and the very next thing um that they announced is two new free to play characters coming which is a resurrection f blue goku and blue vegeta now this is actually the second resurrection f blue vegeta we've gotten since the one from the first year if i'm not mistaken um so that's i guess pretty cool but unfortunately i doubt he's gonna come with any new animations i think it'll just be a reskin of the first year anniversary vegeta which if he gets a senkai he could be pretty crazy because um with his uh, locking ability you could just probably get a free rush on anyone right so uh with these two reveals i was kind of thinking that they were gonna reveal 
uh, LF Golden Frieza of some kind, right? Just a part of me was like, okay, maybe they could release a Golden Frieza with a Beerus, right? But uh, as as we uh, mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's a, it's a freaking Jiren, bro. It's, it's a Jiren who I didn't expect until the Annie to come with the person who's literally behind this card art, which is obviously who he fought, right? But um, pretty much that's it, right? They just announced these two free guys. Hopefully they're pretty good, but obviously they'll be reskinned, so there'll be nothing special. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. All right, and now we have uh, some little information for the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Zenkai, right? The green one. Um, he actually does look pretty good already from what we've seen here, right? So he gets a green card from, or no, he gets a strike card from a green card. He gets a strike, um, more strike damage on main, and then uh, which is obviously really good right so this basically means that you can pop his main ability and if it's a blue unit you can still possibly kill him like you won't have to ramp up you can even just switch in pop that main for the little strike damage which will buff your ult and then you could possibly kill whatever blue unit you happen to lock in right uh so that is pretty good um even sh greater strike capabilities with increased strike damage at the start of battle when all uniques are unlocked so this guy is going to be a pretty good strike attack character if you guys didn't notice already right so that is pretty good uh, we'll have to see what his stats look like and what these actual buffs look like in terms of like the percent and all that, right? But uh, let's move on to the final part of this video, the breakdown of the man himself. All right, in the final part of this video, um, we have a purple LF full power Jiren who, um, like I said, this is completely out of a left field. Considering the Beerus he's coming with is from Universal Survival Saga, that's like the only thing that correlates, right? And by the way, he is dropping with the Beerus because they said that the Beerus was uh, slated to release on the 23rd, right? Which is who I thought they would like talk about in this reveal and stuff, but they talked about nothing, right? They, they, they said nothing about this Beerus, so I guess he'll just be like exactly what he is, right? Just an nullifying guy, right? Nullifying revival guy. I'm saying that like he's useless, but he actually did seem pretty good. But it's just that, like, I really didn't expect this guy until the anniversary, right? Like, I mean, I remember when people were talking about this with Dokkan, they were like, they're not going to put UI Goku with Jiren, right? They're going to release Jiren on its own. And if a UI Goku comes out, it would be with a Evolution Blue Vegeta. But who did we get back in August? Evolution Blue Vegeta, right? So it was like, this is this was the only other guy who would come out with a UI Goku. But obviously, they could literally just make it like a transforming evolution blue vegeta or something to come out with a ui goku right but that's besides the point let's break this guy down his z ability is 32 percent to uh what universal survival saga rival universe or powerful opponent based uh, uh based attack and strike defense right base strike oh well, wait oh blast attack what he's ranged why <laughs> why the fuck? why is a full power gear in range bro why whatever i mean like it's not like he throws punches literally the whole tournament and just like a few keybots but whatever I, whatever um he is a range type i guess so blast attack and strike defense i guess that's pretty good and then 15 percent attack rival universe based blast defense during battle uh what else does he have here his unique abilities applies the following effects itself when the uh battle starts 90 percent of damage effect that cannot be canceled and reduce the damage by 40 you know the typical uh crazy buff that these lfs get so uh yeah, uh, his unique abilities, uh, let's go here real quick, uh, applies the following effects itself when an enemy activates a rising rush, 40% of damage inflicted, um, cannot be cancelled, activates twice, 70% of key recovery, uh, cannot be cancelled, activates twice, increases draw speed by one, cannot be cancelled and activates twice, that's actually pretty good, but I guess you have to wait until a rising rush happens, that's not that good, but whatever uh restores health by 30 once it reaches zero so he has endurance that's actually really good it's actually really really good because if you run him with topo it's gonna be really really hard because topo is still pretty decent i'd say so if you run this guy with topo he'll probably be pretty pretty good right so uh there's that applies a buff effect notifies enemy special actions that uh, apply when changing cover so he nullifies cover change restores on health by 35 percent when two allies are to defeat defeated and has a special cover change against strikes which we saw it's like when he does a little eye glare thing and then he like punches you backwards just by uh, him staring so that's pretty much it what we have here um i'm pretty sure he can be zenkai buffed by khalif love but i mean does it really matter i don't think i'm gonna be summoning for this guy him coming out actually just makes it easier for me not to summon and here's why Rival Universe is not that good right now, right? So, I'd say he, he'll probably be back 
with a presumably UI Goku during the anniversary. And if you just wait till then, you'll get two twice the value for your summons, right? So I actually recommend that you do skip this, unless of course um Jiren's like one of your favorite characters or whatever. That's like the only time you know people can't tell you to skip. But I I'm I myself will probably be skipping. Maybe I might throw my hand or two at it and if you end up seeing the showcase, you know, don't hold me to it. Maybe I, I fell for it a little bit, but uh this guy he's, he's not like he's not like oh my god i'm gonna spend all my cc on it which is actually really good because the more i can save towards annie is a better thing right so uh yeah let me know what you guys think make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one peace